Hello, everybody. This is Evan here from Evan Sports Podcast, and today I'm going to be discussing Astros re-signing Michael Brantley. One year, $12 million off the bat. I think this is a great move. Obviously, the Astros, they needed to re-sign or get somebody back for the outfield. Um, they needed some depth out there, especially after um, uh, just a limited amount of of outfield depth that we have right now. You wanted to bring somebody in, hopefully Conforto or Brantley or one of those guys. A lot of guys were looking at Nimmo at the beginning of the offseason, but we have re-signed Brantley, and I'm very happy about this because Brantley, as many of you guys know, is a great clubhouse guy in Houston. He's been one of our most consistent hitters the past few years. Uh, just looking at his stats now, just the past few years, um, he has been one of the most consistent hitters on our team. I mean, he gets on base. He hits for average. He's just a nice guy to slot in the middle of the lineup between uh, some of our more power-heavy hitters. Um, just a, a guy that can drive in runs and get extra bases. Um, when he's healthy, he is just a monster. And he makes this lineup so much more even and balanced. Even with Maldonado and, and McCormick at the bottom, I think that um, uh, Brantley being added into it makes it a very strong top seven. Um, last year, Brantley hit uh, .288 uh, with 26 RBIs, 5 home runs, a .786 OPS, a .416 slogging percentage, and a .370 on base. So, you know, pretty solid numbers over, overall for Brantley. He was injured for a, the majority of the season after he suffered that shoulder in, injury that sidelined him uh, for the remainder of the season. So we didn't get to see him uh, play a full, full season, but... I imagine that if he was able to play the full 162, uh, the numbers would have looked, you know, a bit more juiced. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy about this pick uh, by the Astros to resign Brantley. I think that it's a great move for the team. I think it, uh, you know, what I've noticed about all, like, the players' photos and stuff is that whenever they're at games, like, I saw a photo of Brantley at the Rockets game. They're all very close and very closely knit, and Brantley is a part of that, and I feel like it's very important to bring those guys back and to keep that chemistry a part of the team rolling. So, um, chemistry-wise, I think it's a great move for uh, our team. So, another question that's popped up is that since now we have addressed the outfield issue, are we done for the offseason? Um, I'm kind of on the fence for this because... We do have $20 million left before we reach the luxury tax cap. There is a lot of things you could do with this $20 million. One, you could go out and you could try and get another outfielder in Conforto, who is still, uh, at the time I've been making this video right now, he has still not been signed. Um, would I want to risk getting a Conforto for that much like when he's been injured a lot? And I, I'm not sure. I don't really know if I want to risk it on Conforto yet. I think most likely the Astros are going to either stay put or they are going to use it for some depth signings, which basically means that they're going to either bring Buley back to maybe a one-year deal. I'd say maybe eight or seven million there. Have him play as a utility guy. Maybe go out and get somebody else um, just to either move around in the, like an infielder or an outfielder. Maybe just another bullpen guy uh, just to put at the back of the bullpen. Uh, I can see them doing either of those things. But... I think most likely what the Astros wind up doing is that they'll end up using that $20 million, saving it for next year during the trade deadline and using it, you know, if we want to go out and acquire one of like the top, uh, a top rental or some, some a, a superstar rental or something like that. Uh, I feel like I could see the Astros doing that 100%. So um, I think they are done for the time being, but this offseason so far for the Astros, I think, has been interesting because, one, you started off firing uh, James Click um, from the front office, and then I, f I think it was one, one, of the, one of the other guys that he um, came along with him. But James Click was gone, so now Jim Crane's riding the ship, and a lot of people are thinking, well, what, is, what does this mean? Boom. Immediately, he goes and re-signs Montero to three years, uh, extending him, which I'm really happy about, keeps the bullpen together. Then he goes out and he gets Jose Abreu, for three years, um, which I'm also very happy about. I feel like Jose Abreu is probably the best move of the offseason, and, and I feel like it's going to pay dividends uh, during the regular season. I feel like us as Astros fans are really going to enjoy him. If you look at his numbers last year uh, with the White Sox, yes, power was a bit down. He only hit about 15 home runs last year, 
but his walking per- his walk percentage was up. He still had like over 40 doubles. He was getting on base and he still hit over 300. So he's just a quality hitter. And I feel like replacing him with Yuli at first base, no offense, because I do love Yuli. It's a big improvement. And then, of course, this last move, resigning Michael Brantley, in which I believe will be the last move. Uh, obviously, just a great move. Bring it back. Um, yet another good lefty bat in this lineup. Somebody that can really solidify the bottom of the order. And just is just an, such a great guy. I love Brantley, dude. Brantley is just such a good player. He's such a nice guy. He's got a great smile. That's why they call him Dr. Smooth back. Okay. Sorry. I cannot speak today, if you guys haven't noticed. But uh, he was just uh, loved in Cleveland. And he's loved here in Houston. And I'm so glad he's back. Um, so yeah, that does it for today's episode. Um, I will be doing more updates as the off season goes on. Uh, if the Astros sign anybody else, I'll make sure to cover that. But for now, uh, this is it for uh, this episode and I will see you guys later.